Replacing a toilet fill valve is a common repair required on all toilets. You'll need a couple of items. A wrench to disconnect the water supply and a small bucket or bowl to catch the water left in the tank. Check to see that the required parts are included with the fill valve. The mounting nut, the metal clip that attaches the refill tube, the tube, the tamper-proof locking clip, and the adjuster key that's used to set the refill ratio key. The replacement procedure is straightforward. First, remove the tank lid and set it aside. But be careful, you don't want a broken lid. Next, turn off the water supply and flush the toilet and hold the lever open for 10 to 15 seconds to completely drain the tank. Now, Put the bowl in place and disconnect the water supply line. Remove the nut that holds the fill valve in place. This may take the wrench. 6. Unhook the refill tube from the metal clip and remove the old fill valve. Now you're ready to install the new valve and adjust it to work with your particular toilet. To identify the model number of your toilet, take a look at our video on identifying your model number. Adjusting the height of the valve and obtaining the proper refill ratio are two critical steps and Toto has made it easy and straightforward. In the instructions that are packed with the valve, You'll find a fill chart that will help you adjust the valve to match your particular toilet. First, in order to set the height, hold the bottom of the valve with one hand and turn the top of the valve counterclockwise until it stops. Extend it to the proper height by pulling the top section up. The height is determined by the number of pegs that you found on the fill chart that matches your toilet. For example, this toilet is model ST454E and the correct number of pegs is 4. So we'll extend the valve 4 pegs and turn the upper half clockwise to lock it in place. You'll feel it snap in place when the rib on the top lines up with the pegs on the bottom. Since the valve height is so important for proper operation, Toto supplies a tamper-proof locking clip to keep it from changing accidentally. Okay, here's how you set the proper refill amount. To set the adjuster dial, first shut it all the way off by turning it counterclockwise. Then, Use the adjuster key that comes with the valve to set the refill ratio key that matches your model. Our model, ST454E, has a key setting of 4. Hold key 4 in place like this and open the adjuster dial clockwise until the radius of the dial's edge hits the stopping post of the key. To install the pre-adjusted valve in the tank, make sure it doesn't touch the back of the tank or interfere with the trip lever arm. Hand tighten the mounting nut and turn it an extra quarter turn. Don't over tighten. Attach the refill tube to the valve and make sure the port is locked in place by pushing on the tube. Then connect the refill tube to the overflow tube using the metal clip. Reconnect the water supply. Turn the water back on and check for leaks. It is normal to see water flowing from these three areas. Here, here, and here. There is nothing wrong with your new valve. All good? Now you can flush and see whether the toilet refills to the proper level. If it's too low, turn the dial clockwise to increase the flow. If the water level is too high, turn it counterclockwise to reduce it. 
Once you get it where you want it, you're done. Good job.